dear students we are back again on the same channel with the reactions we have seen in previous episodes all the reactions that is electrophilic substitution reactions of both benzene as well as toluene today we have come with a different title we are going to perform the chlorination and oxidation reactions of methyl group CH3 group present in toluene so this time we are going to perform the reactions in such a way that the benzene nucleus is not going to get affected but the methyl group present on benzene will get affected means the reactions will take place on the methyl group and not on the six carbon atoms of the phenyl ring that is benzene nucleus so that is the title given chlorination and oxidation reactions of methyl group in toluene i'll perform the reaction i'll write toluene benzene containing ch3 1h replaced by ch3 known as toluene or methyl benzene when this toluene undergoes chlorination reaction mind you we have also undergone chlorination of toluene in uh, uh, electrophilic substitution reaction but as we are performing chlorination in this part we have to be very much careful that we are having a precise reagent so that the methyl group is affected and not the benzene ring part so for that we will react chlorine in presence of sunlight at 111 degrees celsius that is 384 kelvin temperature so now chlorination is performed in presence of sunlight and temperature so obviously the benzene nucleus is not going to get affected so what will happen the methyl group has got H, 3 H atoms. So out of 3 H, 1 H will get replaced by the Cl atom and as a result we will have over here on benzene 2 hydrogen, 1 gets replaced by 1 Cl and that gives CH2 Cl. So it's a simple you can say substitution reaction. How it takes place? See, we have CH3 and we have Cl2 chlorine bonded to chlorine fine so your covalent bonding takes place between chlorine and chlorine the homolysis reaction takes place here also homolysis reaction takes place homolysis breaking of atoms equally is known as homolysis reaction so the H of CH3 combines with 1 Cl and that forms the byproduct I'll write for you HCl and another Cl takes the position on carbon that is carbon has its own free or valence electron chlorine has its seven valence electrons and as a result chlorine with its seven valence combined with the one electron of carbon and as a result you have CH2 CH2 and instead of H now you have this Cl over here and this part was already bonded to the phenyl ring so now you get the compound named as benzyl chloride the compound is known as benzyl chloride further if you perform chlorination with the same conditions Cl2 sunlight 111 degrees celsius or you can say 384 kelvin temperature still we have two hydrogen atoms on carbon same concept 1H replaced by Cl forming HCl and one valency of carbon satisfies with chlorine so that gives on benzene CH Cl2 the compound is named as benzal dichloride benzal dichloride if you further perform chlorination with the same conditions of sunlight 111 degrees celsius 1H still 
is left which can be replaced by CL and so you have HCL as a byproduct and the product formed will be on benzene you have CCL3 named as benzo trichloride benzo trichloride because there are three Cl atoms so it is known as benzo trichloride now further if I try to perform chlorination with the same conditions it won't take place the reason is the carbon had only three hydrogen atoms all the three have got substituted so no hydrogen left so no further chlorination is possible as far as this conditions concerned now what else we have completed the chlorination reaction of methyl group in toluene that is all but we have also dealt with we are also going to deal with oxidation reaction so we can perform oxidation in different different ways let's see one after the other suppose I take first benzo trichloride and perform oxidation reaction of benzo trichloride fine so what I will do I will perform oxidation so I will write simple O as the symbol of oxidation reaction now as I perform oxidation reaction I need to be clear that I need a, a, an agent which will replace these three Cl atoms and on its place the carboxylic group C is already present but carboxylic group total will get introduced so we have to keep that in mind now you can see if I take calcium hydroxide CaOH twice fine and perform the reaction with water I have added water so instead of oxidation I will undergo the reaction known as hydrolysis symbolically hydrolysis we write at 3O plus so we are performing hydrolysis reaction on this uh, benzo trichloride so I will perform hydrolysis by taking over here two moles of water molecules how the mechanism is interesting carbon is bonded with three Cl atoms I will write for you over here so here it is carbon bonded with one two and three Cl now I am performing hydrolysis okay I will be performing hydrolysis means addition of water in presence of calcium hydroxide and I will heat the reaction mixture so what will happen the OH OH group from water you have water H and OH the OH group for, from the water molecule will replace all the three Cl from carbon and that will come over here I will substitute them over here so now this compound instead of benzo trichloride is benzo triol benzo 3 means tri OH means all so it is benzo triol but what happens the O group oxygen is more 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 electronegative than chlorine fine we have replaced chlorine with OH now as oxygen is highly electronegative and three OH groups are placed on the same carbon atom the carbon becomes unstable so this compound cannot exist actually so what happens here automatically one mole of water gets eliminated from the compound one mole of water on its own gets eliminated and that is why we have actually th taken three moles of water but I have shown only two moles of water because one mole of water is already eliminated as it got, gets eliminated the OH group which got eliminated from the compound leaves the carbon electron free which was bonded to it and from here H gets eliminated from OH so oxygen also gets one electron free and as a result there it forms a double bond so now you have on benzene C O O H and that is known as benzoic acid so this is how we can get benzoic acid from benzo trichloride now this is by hydrolysis but we are still going on with oxidation reaction so what I'll do I'll take toluene and directly I'll react in such a way that I get benzoic acid from toluene so for that obviously I'll perform the oxidation reaction now I'll perform the oxidation reaction in such a way that methyl group 
straight away reduces to carboxylic acid group so i need a strong oxidizing agent so what i'll do i'll take a strong oxidizing agent like potassium permanganate in an alkaline medium so that will act as a catalyst that will be a very strong oxidizing agent and as i heat the reaction mixture automatically the 3h from this will get converted into oo and h that means h gets removed removal of hydrogen is reduction and oxygen is added so it is oxidation so the reaction is oxidation reaction by which toluene straight away converts into benzoic acid okay now we get on to benzyl dichloride now this benzyl dichloride i'll again perform the same reaction as i did over here i'll perform hydrolysis with calcium hydroxide and i'll take actually two moles but i'll show only one mole concept remains the same as benzoic acid two cl atoms are there to explain you i'll write a carbon atom with two cl atoms bonded to it and one h because it is benzyl dichloride chcl2 now what happens i have taken two moles of water one and two fine both get replaced by oh so instead of cl for your understanding i'll write both as oh so that is your benzyl di all 2 oh 2 di oh all so it is benzyl di all now on carbon same scenario as it was over here carbon is unstable and as it is unstable one mole of water one molecule of water will get eliminated again from the compound and as a result h from o and oh from carbon gets eliminated carbon ke upar se oh chala gaya so carbon will have its electron free oxygen ke upar se h chala gaya oxygen will have its own electron free and as a result that will form a double bond and that will give you the compound benzal dehyde it's an aldehyde group you can see it is a cho group and so the compound is benzal dehyde so this is how you can get benzal dehyde from benzal dichloride see the naming is so interesting and easy to remember benzal benzal it's an aldehyde so benzal dehyde it's cl so it is dichloride fine similarly over here benzo benzo it's carboxylic acid carboxylic acid has suffix oic so benzoic acid and here you have three chlorine so it is trichloride so this is benzo trichloride this is benzoic acid this is benzal dichloride this is benzal dehyde so this is how you can correlate the name and it becomes a simple job to keep the names in your memory fine now from benzal dehyde you can get benzoic acid yes that is also a short method you can straight away perform oxidation of benzal dehyde to give benzoic acid i'll perform oxidation with kmno4 alkaline medium automatically oxygen gets added in the compound oxygen addition oxidation and so you get straight away benzoic acid so from benzyl dehyde also you can get benzoic acid okay one more reaction benzyl chloride if reacts with calcium hydroxide fine in presence of hcl sorry h2o cl and h gets eliminated forming hcl gone and oh takes the position with carbon so here you have on benzene ch2 oh 1 oh carbon will be remaining stable no problem so the compound is known as benzyl alcohol now see the name is benzyl name is benzyl it is chlorine chloride it is oh alcohol so all the three names have come accordingly from their respective compound so this is how you can just correlate everything and you can get the whole simple whole complex reaction into a simple chart form of reaction as chlorination and oxidation reactions of the methyl group in toluene so i will repeat in short for you toluene can undergo oxidation with such strong oxidizing agent giving you directly benzoic acid the 3h of toluene 
gets converted into OOH becoming unstable. One O eliminates and two O and H substitutes. Same way uh, from uh, toluene you get benzoyl. Yes, from toluene you can get benzaldehyde as well. Yes, benzaldehyde is also possible in a single step. I'll take over here and I'll write this is benzaldehyde. See, from toluene in a single step I'll get benzaldehyde. You can take mild oxidizing agent chromyl CrO2Cl2 chromyl chloride or chromium oxide in acetic anhydride CH3CO twice O. So automatically oxidation will take place in such type of oxidizing agent. Chromyl chloride or chromium oxide or acetic anhydride. This will also act as oxidizing agent and automatically from this toluene you can get benzaldehyde the 2H gets eliminated reduced from the compound and oxygen gets introduced into the compound so you get benzaldehyde from toluene straight away you get benzoic acid from toluene straight away from benzyl chloride you get benzyl alcohol from benzyl dichloride benzaldehyde and from benzo trichloride you can get benzoic acid so the whole chart in a single chart, simple manner, easy manner to remember, quite, quite lucidly I have explained this. So this will help you and so many conversions, you know conversion, it is from one compound you get the final product via different reactions, one or two steps is known as conversion. We'll take those conversions in the next episode, but before that you prepare this very well. See you again in the next episode. If you have any doubt, raise the question in the comment section or you can email to styrin1411 at gmail.com. Prepare well. See you soon in the next episode for conversion part. Take care.